Hello students, I am Dr. Ram Ishwar, Orthopedics and Joint Replacement Surgeon. I am proud father of two sons and husband of lovely women. Today in this class, I am going to explain you about fracture, what is fracture, how you will diagnose it, what is the, the sign and symptom of the fracture and what is the approach to treat it or what is the approach to manage it. Uh, first, I uh, start with the definition of the fracture. What is fracture? Fracture is breach in the continuity of bone. Uh, if there is any bone, bone is there, uh, this is a bone and if something happens in its continuity, breach is in, in the continuity of the bone, that is called fracture. Uh, fracture can be cl classified in different way. It, it will be classified based upon whether it is complete or incomplete fracture. Fracture can be complete in which whole both the cortex or both the uh, ends of the uh, bone has been broken and it can be incomplete fracture also. Based upon this, uh, whether it is complete or incomplete fracture, uh, based upon the displacement, whether it is displaced or in this displaced fracture, uh, fracture if uh, there may be fracture, but it is not displaced. In the other hand, in the displaced fracture, the displacement is more than two millimeter, then it is a displaced fracture. And uh, in displaced fracture, one fracture can be widely displaced when the both ends are wild apart. Uh, wild apart means one centimeter, two centimeter apart to each other. That is displaced fracture. And third classification in which you can classify the fracture is based upon the pattern of the fractures. It is transverse fractures like this. It's, uh, it's like this. It's a transverse fracture. Other fracture is oblique fracture like this oblique fracture can also be a long oblique in which it is like this uh, the fracture length of this fracture line is more than uh, more than uh, this uh, double of this diameter of the fracture means this diameter is this and this fracture is more than double more than double fracture line then is long oblique fracture. It can be a spiral also. This fracture can be a spiral also. If fracture line is in more than two planes, two planes, you can understand. It's more than uh, yeah, the fracture based upon the pattern. The other fracture is so-called comminuted fracture in which the fracture is, uh, uh, is in different parts. More than two, three fragments are there. Other fracture based upon the pattern is segmental fracture in which one bone has been fractured to more than one places. More than one places it means uh, the fragment, uh, fracture fragment will be one fragment, two fragment, three fragment. Normally in fracture there is only two fragments. So, uh, this one part and this is the second part. But in segmental fracture, the fractures happens more than two places. Two or more than two places. That is segmental fracture. So based upon the pattern of fracture, you can divide which type of fracture it is. Based upon the etiology of fracture, you can also divide the fracture, whether it is traumatic fracture due to the trauma, something happened due to the trauma or other is pathological fracture in which there is some pre-existing pathology is there inside the bone which predispose it for the fracture. Like if, if the patient is uh, suffering from some malignancies or bone tumors or having infections, osteomyelitis or uh, if a patient is having osteoporosis, osteoporosis is also a part of or a stress fracture is also a sort of you can say is a pathological fracture in which some pre-existing disease is there. Apart from this pathological fracture is other is traumatic fracture. In traumatic fracture trauma is the cause, injury is the cause of fracture while in uh, pathological fracture there is some pathology which is pre-existing in the bone which predisposed for the fracture and in pathological fracture trivial injuries, trivial trauma can cause fracture. So based upon this uh, which type, uh, which upon the different way you can classify the fracture. One other way to classify the fracture is open fracture or closed fracture. Open fracture means if fracture bone fragment has pierced the skin and the bone bone is exposed outside the skin that is open fracture and in closed fracture the skin covering the bone uh, bony fragment is intact that is closed fracture. So these are different way to classify uh, the fracture. Uh, 
the next thing that is very important how you will diagnose the fracture uh, diagnosis of the fracture is very obvious even a layman can say my bone has been fractured uh, you can diagnose you uh, the fracture just by history and the patient will tell that the bone has broken there is abnormal mobility he is not able to use his limb, limb uh, or uh, arm or whatever part that has been affected there will be swelling there will be pain there will be deformity there will be loss of function uh, he is not able to do whatever work that ha that bone has been assigned to do so from history it is obvious that it is fracture but many cases like the fracture of the carpal bone metacarpal bone or small bone uh, even this symptom will be not be there so you will go for the examination in clinical examination what there will be tenderness there will be swelling there will be loss of function there will be loss of transmitted movement if i will i am if there is fracture of this forearm bone and uh, if i will bend it so uh, there will be um, this hand will not be bent it will just uh, bend from the fracture side so loss of transmitted movement will be there loss of function will be there uh, on examinations and uh, the one very confirmatory test or uh, uh, that uh, that can diagnose almost every type of fracture is x-ray plain x-ray plain uh, digital x-ray you can take anteroposterior and lateral view on sometime public view uh, uh, in 99 percent cases this used to diagnose the fracture that it's fracture in rare cases, uh, sometime in difficult uh, situation like in carpal bones or uh, if uh, tarsal bones or in undisplaced fracture, you need to do go for other higher investigation like CT scan or MRI. Uh, especially in periarticular fracture, if the fracture is around the joint and you want to know the exact position of the fracture, its geometry uh, to define the exact way how you will going to uh, fix it or to treat it. You may need CT scan and MRI also to diagnose that uh, or uh, uh, to plan its uh, treatment. You may need CT scan and MRI. Uh, what is the treatment for the fracture? The fracture is treated by just two things. Uh, you have to just immobilize, immobilize that fra fragment. And uh, first is you have to just reduce the fracture. If it has been displaced, you have to reduce it reduction and other is immobilization immobilization is uh, you have to just uh, first uh, if the fragment has been displaced you have to put the fragment uh, in place and then you have to keep this position for the long duration that is called immobilization and these are the basic principle to treat the fracture first is reduction and second is immobilization till fracture united there are many ways to do it it, it can be done by conservative means, by plasters, by slings, uh, and sometimes if the fra fracture has been displaced while upon, you have to do operative treatment also. This operations or this reductions uh, uh, can be closed also, and sometimes you need to open that fracture by surgical procedure to uh, to reduce that fracture fragment. Uh, you can fix it or you can immobilize it by externally applying plaster or slings or sometime you have to fix it by a plate and screws uh, that depend upon the fracture geometry but this is all uh, is the basic principle how fracture is being treated uh, so in this in this uh, uh, class i just explain what is fracture and what are the definition of the fracture how will classify the fracture based upon this displacement based upon this fracture geometry based upon this etiology uh, it's traumatic or it's pathological based upon whether it is compound or simple whether it is injury or not based upon that you can classify uh, it in different way and diagnosis is by clinical history uh, examinations and the gold standard to diagnose any fracture is x-ray but sometimes ct scan mmri is also important and how it you will going to treat it treatment is the basic principle is reduction and immobilization and to redu uh, to achieve these two goals of reduction and immobilization you can go either conservative way or operative way uh, operative way by open or close reduction of that fracture fragment and applying plate and screws 
this is all i think uh, uh, if you want to ask anything more you can ask me okay